And we are back once again to Slime Isekai Memories. Today we are summoning on the brand new banner, Troop Recruit, Demon Lord Capital, and the Lightspeed Hero. <laughs> Man, I really do like that super attack from that Rimuru. Yeah, both those animations look really nice. I hear they're not that great of units, but I still really want them. Because this Rimuru is really cool. Like that outfit in general. I just kind of like his kingly vibe. And the royalty. And Masayuki, I mean, he's alright. Like that animation is also really cool and I like him just thinking to himself, Oh my, I'm just like in so much pressure. You know, trying to pretend to be a hero. Alright, let's get a good look at the units. Yep. Welcoming Chancellor. Horses, Protector of Peace, Seize's Will, Octogram Demon Lord, Determination to Prosper. Festive Bombardment. Unleashes an all-target water physical attack for 300% normal damage. Decreases all targets physical attack resistance by 15%. Turns 1. And then 200% for double damage. It turns to 600. Points required 90. Increase all allies critical rate by 80%. Turns 1. Increase own soul of combos damage. By 150%. Turns 1. Points required 25. Changes non skill souls X1 into soul of skills. Increase own weakness strike until the end of battle by 5% unlimited. Here's the Valor if y'all want to read that. When you unleash a 6 combo attack with solo skills, decrease all targets defense by 3% for the next turn. And then it turns up 5% when he's level 6. 20% more damage when level 6. And individual mercy, he needs a gale to increase damage by 8% critical damage. And increase on following stats and currents of physical characters. Gets 360 health, increase attack by 180, and defense by 104. Chosen One. Increase damage done by Protector of Peace Force characters to fire attribute enemies by 60%. Increase physical characters attack and defense by 20 at the beginning of each turn from turn 2 onwards. Increases skill cost limit by 50 until the end of the battle. Max 999. Increase protector of peace force characters attack by 7%. Brave Majesty. Chance to inspire all physical allies 80% turns 2. When the enemy's turn ends, increase attack by 4% for every 3 times an ally attacked. Max up to 40% per turn. Unlimited. For this turn, battle skills can be activated for an unlimited number of times. Decreases the skill cost by 20 for vanguard allies cannot go below each skill's initial cost, cannot exceed the max activation limit during battle. Huh, that's an interesting protection skill, or whatever skill. Valor traits, if you don't want to read, you can read that. 
When three Vanguard have 75% or more HP, increase all physical attack by 5% at the start of turn. And then it goes up to 8%. Okay, it's increase divine protection and attack by 5%. And supporting protection attack. Exactly. So yeah, when he awakens. And then we have a bunch of Shizu units, apparently. Yeah, it just seems like a lot of people connected to Shizu. Like Shizu herself, a bunch of those. Uh, Rimaru, then Alice. Surprise Hinata is not on here. Or at least one Hinata. But yeah, that just seems like most of our students, like everyone for mostly Shizu's will. But alright, let's get to our first multi, and we'll make it a group. So if you guys want to join me, so hopefully this gives me some luck and I get the units first try. Alright, not seeming like anything right now. Crossing my toes, crossing my legs, crossing everything. Let's go! Nope, no fake out, where it's high density energy detected. Ooh. First one not looking great. Which banner was it that I kind of pulled out early? I'm trying to remember. I think it was one of these banners. Was it during the Holy Knights banner? Where it's like, I got a unit within two or three? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I can't, like, put my finger since it's been a little bit since that time. Ah, uh, damn. We didn't get him, unfortunately. Alright, well, let's see what we get on this one. See if we get anything from our free... God, I love games that tell me that I can win money just by playing for free. You know, maybe forget the gacha games. Let's just play these random games that are, like, just shown to me in the ads. You know, I want to make 20 bucks in 5 minutes, or 300 bucks in 20 minutes. Now for the second multi, let's go! Eh? I mean... Looks a little better. Hold on. Nope, the game is not seeming to give me good animations. Ooh! Wow. Like, unless there's a fake out here, I am just disappointed. Yeah, this banner may just be a dud for me. Yeah, unfortunately the game wants to kind of screw me a little bit. I mean, it did give me some luck with my tickets, so maybe this is just... You know, the other side of the karma. It's like, I get some luck there. And for the tickets here, I'm like, I get no luck. I have to suffer. Well, hopefully with the paid ones, I get at least a single feature. If not, at least a five star that I don't have. Yeah, I just wonder about you guys. Have you guys been enjoying the newer, like, cards? Like, how do you feel? Do you enjoy these cards that are more related to the actual anime and story? Or do you guys usually like our cards to be more what if? Like, and sometimes there's sometimes a mix of both of them. 
where it's like the Memoji banner was like, you know, partly relating to the anime because it had Memoji on it, but then it had like the Benny Maru and the like Hikaru and the Soy that were all like technically like not canon outfits, which we never see in the anime. So sometimes they have like an in between. Which is interesting for them to take some liberties on. Finally! A good animation! Alright. Twisting. Even though this wasn't supposed to be a group multi, I'm hoping for some luck here. So, let's see if I get anything. Come on, you gave me two dud multis. And hopefully this makes up for it. But yeah, I kind of enjoy the, like, non-canon banners a bit more. Oh, it's the first one. Is this the new one? Ah, no, it's this one. Is it, isn't he actually featured? Damn, so I kind of hate that Reaper if he's featured. Because, like, how is he a featured unit? He's so old. I mean, I guess because of skill fusion. Like, I'm pretty sure he did get a skill fusion. Come on, don't let that be my only one! You're disappointing me, please! Please, game! No, don't do me! You did me dirty. I hate it. <laughs> Damn it! I was really hoping that was the quote for the new Rimaru. But yeah, before the animation kind of stunned my mind, I really do like the like non-canon like outfits and events a little bit more than the like more canon ones. Because, in comparison, like, the dress and, like, some of the outfits here are just, like, okay. Like, I don't know where to say that they have less creativity, but it's just, like, some of the dresses and outfits we've seen on these girls have been, eh, quite a bit cuter. Like, just from what the game dev team make. So that's kind of why I enjoy, like, the non-canon outfits more. And plus, some of them have been really cool. I especially like Soy's outfits. And some of Benny Maru's outfits have been pretty great as well. Oh, there we go. We got something. Please! Featured. This is my last chance. But yeah, I just feel the like game team programmers, modelers come up with some better outfits than probably what's in canon. So that's why I'm kind of excited for whenever the anime stops, like, showing stuff or, you know, stops airing. Then we can, like, go back to the original events. Because it feels like they want to continuously coincide events while the anime goes on. So we may still have one more event or after this like meta they stopped doing events but i'm pretty sure they still got one more meta in them oh who's it it's a shizu or no it's masked hero all right well i don't know if that's my final do for her but hopefully pretty close all right let's check out the hall yeah, there's not going to be much to check. Oh, okay, so she's finally done. 
Masked Hero, finally all duped up. Oh yeah, and the Rimuru. I forgot all about him. Aside from that... Uh, nothing else that I can remember. Yeah, they did not give me too much luck on that. So, I'm pretty disappointed with that summon. Yeah, I may or may not summon on the Hinata and Shion banners. We'll see. I mean, I still am reeling from <laughs> what an absolute spectacular loss that was for me. Ugh. But, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my summons on Slime Isekai Memories. I hope once again that you guys got something much better than me. Hopefully the main featured units, if not something that you didn't have or wanted. And if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok, my Kick, Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Make sure to check out my second YouTube channel and like and comment on my videos and even check out my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do or my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.